Hello and welcome or welcome back. The focus of this video is chapters 1 to 5 of the novel For the Life of Letitia by Mill Hodge. The chapters in this book are short, that's why I will cover 5 chapters at a time instead of 1 at a time. So chapters 1 to 5. For this video, I will be using the format I discussed in my previous video, How to Study for English B. If you haven't watched it yet, I'd advise you to do so. So we are looking at characters, setting, themes, devices, any quotes that we find important or interesting, and a summary of that chapter. Now note that in some chapters, we may not find any quotes that we find interesting, or they, there might not be any devices worth noting. Um, so we can always discuss those in the comment section. If you have any questions as we go along, please don't hesitate to ask. We can always turn the comment section into a classroom. After all, that's what literature is about, discussion and debate. So let's get started. Chapter 1. The characters in this chapter are Letitia, Letitia's father, Miss Adeline and her baby. Those are minor characters that appear. The setting is Suklal Trace and a summary of that chapter. Letitia Johnson leaves her neighborhood in her father's old car. It is an uncomfortable and bumpy ride out of Suklal Trace. We learn that Letitia is about to start secondary school and that she is quite excited. Her family is also bursting with pride. Some themes we notice here are change. The chapter begins with a journey. She is moving out of Suklal Trace. So we know that something is going to happen in her life. We have love and family relationships. The relationship between the daughter and the father. Although it does not seem strong at all. But this is the theme that we are dealing with here. We also have poverty. As they are driving out, it is clear that the people in that neighborhood are not wealthy. They are living in poverty. Devices, we have flashback. And one quote from this chapter, which is important or worth noting, I would be the first one ever, the first one in the family to go to secondary school. So if you have any comments, anything you would like to add, any questions about this chapter, you can do so in the comment section. But again, it's a really short chapter. So we're moving on to chapter two now. Characters, Letitia. It is here that we learn that her nickname is Lacey. We have Letitia's father, Uncle Leroy, Ma Willie. And we also learn here that her full name is Wilhelmina Johnson. We have Ruth, Kenwin, Carlisle, and some other children. The setting, it begins in La Puerta, which is a flashback, and then it moves to Suklal Trace. Summary. Lacey reflects on her father's absence throughout her childhood. He has not been much of a provider, and Ma Willie does not think highly of him. After Lacey has passed her exam, he shows up with presents. Ma sends the children away and has a conversation with Lacey and her father in the living room. Lacey's father is very proud of her accomplishment and he wants her to stay with him in La Puerta. This may be the best decision as it will be costly to travel there every day. Ma concludes that Lacey's mother, grandfather and uncles must be consulted first. Devices, we have flashback again. Themes, we have poverty again, love and family relationships, and we also have abandonment. It is clear that Lacey's father abandoned her in the past. And suddenly, he is very interested in her life. What do you think about that? So any comments, questions, thoughts, you can type them in the comments section. And we're moving to chapter 3. The characters here are Pappy. Uncle Leroy, Ma Willie, Uncle Jamesy, Tante Monica. Setting, Suklal Trace. Summary, Pappy and Uncle Leroy speak about the situation. Ma Willie pretends not to have an opinion. 
there is a letter from Mammy Patsy, Letitia's mother. So it is now that we learn that Letitia's mother lives in New York. She does not think that New York is a good place for anyone to live. Overall, the family believes it's a good decision for Letitia to move to La Perta with her father. Some themes here, love and family relationships. We can see that this family is, um, they're very close. And we also have migration. Letitia's mother moved abroad to seek a better life, to earn more money, to send more for her children. She does mention that she's going to send a barrel soon. So yes, we see that she's, she's doing this for her family, but she doesn't really enjoy it at all. Chapter four, characters here, Ma Willie, Mrs. Lopez, who Ma Willie refers to as a circus horse. I tried looking online for a horse with lipstick. This is the closest I could find. This is probably what Mrs. Lopez looks like, a very horrible woman. There's also the man at school and we have Marceline. The setting is La Puerta. So we are out of Suklal Trace now. Summary. Ma Willie takes Lacey to register at school. She becomes angry at Mrs. Lopez, who is unnecessarily rude to them during the registration process. She is disgusted that Lacey is an illegitimate child. And it is here we observe that her mother and father do not have the same surname. A man continues the process and fills out the form. Afterwards, they go to visit Marceline and they have a good time. Themes, discrimination. We can see that Mrs. Lopez already looks down on Lacey and her grandmother for being where they are from and also for Lacey being an illegitimate child. We have pride. Ma Willie doesn't appreciate being disrespected by this circus horse, this Mrs. Lopez, disrespectful woman. We also have friendship, the friendship between Ma Willie and Marceline. And we also have the theme of women in society. We can see, this brings us to the device, which is contrast. We can see that Ma Willie and Marceline are different women. Ma Willie has children to take care of. She has Papi as well, but Marceline is more or less on her own. But she is quite happy. She's not suffering. We also have some foreshadowing here as well. Um, perhaps, if you have read the book already, just pretend you haven't, but you can see that perhaps Lacey is not going to be treated very nicely at that school. And one quote here that I thought we could note is, Mazeline had neither chick nor child, nor regret to rankle her old age. So this lady is living happily on her own, which is not really the traditional role of the woman. She's a different kind of lady. So any questions, comments, anything, you can type them below. And we're moving on to chapter five. The characters here, Ma Willie, Uncle Leroy, Charlene, Ruth, and Kenwin, Papi. Also know that I won't mention Letitia anymore because she's the narrator of the story. So I don't need to list her as a character. She's always going to be there. The setting, Suklal Trace. Summary, Lacey and the children go to the garden early in the morning. Uncle Leroy jokes around and tells her to bring some of her produce for her father. They return to the house, which smells like coffee. It is a peaceful scene. It's a very beautiful chapter. I even pictured myself in that garden. Themes, we have nature. Um, and we also have class. Uncle Leroy mentioned something about high class people not wanting to eat certain things from the garden and they would prefer to have spinach. We also have imagery. Um, the beautiful description of this garden. And if there's anything else you notice, anything you would like to add, you can do so in the comments. Any questions or comments about anything in particular to do with this novel, again, you can ask below. And I will see you next time. So thank you for stopping by. If you would like to email me any essays or 
ask anything you can do so my email address is eng english b solutions at gmail.com i like hearing about your success or reading through your essays actually i do check my email quite often nowadays so feel free to do so and i will see you next time for chapter 6 to 10 goodbye